In this problem, we're asked to divide the two polynomials using long division. So to begin, the first thing you want to do is look over your polynomial and check that in both cases the uh, powers or, or the degree of each term is in descending order. So you'll notice um, in this problem, for the first polynomial, we start with a degree of 3, then 2, then the assumed 1, and notice there's no x's associated with the 90. In the second polynomial, we have the assumed 1 and none. So the problem is already set up in the correct order. Now when we say long division, we're referring to the long division algorithm used in arithmetic uh, where you divide numbers uh, using a step-by-step -step process that I'm assuming you recall. I'll point out some of the subtle differences with polynomials, but the assumption is you know how to do long division with numbers. And if you don't, you might want to first review that algorithm before attempting it with polynomials. So to begin with, we're going to take our divisor, and the divisor is the 2x plus 5, and we're going to put that on the outside of the division, 2x plus 5. And then we're going to draw this symbol. And inside, uh, in this problem, we're working with the divisor, or I'm sorry, the dividend. I always mix up those words. Um, and that will go inside. So 2x to the third plus 19x squared minus x minus 90. So to begin the process, we need to take a look at our lead co uh, term in both the dividend, that is inside, and the divisor outside. So in our dividend, the lead term is 2x to the third, and in the divisor, it's 2x. So what we're going to do is go off to the side and take 2x to the third, and divide it by 2x. So the lead term inside divided by the lead term outside. And that will tell us how many times our divisor, 2x plus 5, goes into 2x cubed, plus all the other terms. In this case, we'll now have an x squared. So what we're going to do is use that x squared that we just calculated and put it above the x squared term in the dividend. So we figured out how many times and now the process starts by taking that term, the x squared, and multiplying it by each of the terms in the divisor. So we're going to take x squared times 2x, that'll give us 2x to the third, and we'll write it right below the 2x to the third in the dividend. And then we'll take x squared times the 5, that gives us 5x squared, and write it below the x squared term again in the dividend. Now, the next step in the algorithm is to subtract. But it's a little tricky when you're subtracting multiple terms. So that minus that I put out front here needs to come into each of those terms. The first terms are usually a non-issue, so it comes in to the first term and makes that negative, and into the second term and makes that negative. So really what we're doing now is we're going to be adding the opposites. So 2x to the third minus 2x to the third, of course that gives us zero, and that's the whole reason we did what we did in choosing x squared in, uh, up on top. But now the 19x squared minus the 5x squared will get us 14x squared. Notice they're like terms, the way we're lining things up. And we're also going to bring down the remaining terms and start this process all over again. See, the fun continues. So now we're going to take the lead term inside, 14x squared, divided by the lead term outside. Now that will not change for the problem. That's going to continue to be 2x. The lead term inside will change as we do each step. So when we divide these, 14 divided by 2 gets a 7, 
and 2x's take out 1 will leave us with 1. So that 7x is what's going to go up above the x term in the dividend. Now we do need a sign to separate our terms since that is uh, unsigned, it's assumed to be positive. So I've put a plus 7x. And then we start uh, distributing that 7x just like we did with the x squared. So 7x times the 2x gets us 14x squared. And our 7x times our 5 gets us 35x. Notice again, like terms are lining up beautifully. And now we're going to subtract, which again is the tricky part. So we're going to turn that to add opposites. And the 14x squareds will add to 0 and go away. And we have a negative 1x and a negative 35x, leaving us with a total of negative 36x. And once again, bring down that remaining term. To start one more time, uh, the entire process again. So we'll take our lead term inside, which is now negative 36x, divided by the lead term outside, still our 2x, giving us negative 18. That goes up top. We distribute it to the two terms on the outside. 2x times the negative 18 is negative 36x. And negative 18 times the 5 gets us a negative 90. So it's looking like things are going to add to 0 and give us a remainder of 0. But let's see how that works. So once again, we're going to subtract this, which means add opposites. So in this case, both of these minus or negatives turn to pluses. And when we add, you'll notice not only do the negative 36 or, or the 36x's add to 0, but also the 90's. So we have a remainder of 0 for the problem. So let's summarize the results of, of what we found. We found that uh, our original problem, 2x to the third plus 19x squared minus x minus 90. divided by 2x plus 5 gave us a result and what we're looking at now the result is what we have up above the division and that is x squared plus 7x minus 18 and that would be the quotient of this division problem but keep in mind when we divide you can also reverse that with multiplication. So this also means that x squared plus 7x minus 18 times 2x plus 5, if we did it right, should result in 2x to the third plus 19x squared minus x minus 90. We'll leave that to you to multiply out just to check.